Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. Today we will be racing at Mid-Ohio in the Xfinity Series and we will be going to Michigan in the Cup Series where we won at earlier this season. So hopefully we can do that again today. But in the Xfinity Series we actually had an IndyCar driver in the car. It's a fellow Canadian actually of James Hinchcliffe we put in the car for this race. And it didn't end up going like we had planned. He had had a poor qualifying effort down there in the 20th position. And his game three turns one behind Brian Truex there in the number 11. So it turned out to be a very rough day for Hinchcliffe in our car as he had a really tough time working his way forwards up through the field there as he's continued to run P20 as he overshot the corner there of turn two. And by the midway point of this race, he would move up to the 17th position, slowly working his way forward, but he just couldn't really get any further than that right there as he actually got hit in the left rear by Tyler Reddick in the nine car, but he would hang on to it, thankfully, and he would just pretty much continue to ride in 17th. By the time it came to the final lap, he had closed in on Kevin Harvick up ahead and John Hunter Nemechek within the final handful of corners as he came into the right hander trying to send it up the inside of Kevin Harvick and he would do just that as he gets into the back of the 42 of Nemechek and just about turns him as he came into the last corner and they would make contact again as Hinchcliffe would go sideways into the uh, 98 of Harvick and into the wall and he would come through to cross the line to finish 17 so certainly a dramatic finish from James Hinchcliffe in our car, but certainly not the finish we were hoping for as the team set uh, P15 in the point standing. So hopefully we can turn it around in the next episode. Now just five races to the playoffs in the Xfinity Series. So let's try to get some more playoff points if possible. But now we set our sights on the Cup Series race, and we got a team offer here for next season, uh, or a team contact, and I decided that we're going to contact Hendrick Motorsports for next season. So uh, we'll see. Maybe that's a potential team. I'm not sure yet. We might stick with the 41 still, but as we came to qualifying in the Cup Series, we made it to the second session and actually had to pass Alex Bowman and the 37 of Chris Busher there in a three wide as we came through turns three and turns four. And now down the front straightaway, Bowman using the draft from me as we come through on the trial. Well, now as we would come across the line to hit a 37 Point two nine eight, and I would call it there because it's so hard to get a good qualifying lap here. So we would call it there, and we will start in the 17th position in Michigan. So let's move our way forwards. This week, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races back to Michigan International Speedway for the second and final time this year. Michigan is the fastest track in NASCAR, making it a favorite of race fans. In 2017, another fan favorite, Kyle Larson, won here making it three straight cup wins at Michigan. That hasn't been done since Bill Elliott did it all the way back in the 1985-86 season. Can Kyle do it again today? Or will someone else start a hot streak of their own? Well, it's time to head down to the track and find out. NASCAR Racing is next. All right, we are ready to go green here in Michigan, and we got Ryan Blaney on the pole today. He has one win this season at Daytona a few episodes back, and uh, Bubba Wallace has been struggling all weekend. We're going to see if they can turn it around in today's races. Matt Benedetto starts in the back after failing technical inspection, and that is all of your notes coming into this race as we get ready to go green from P17. We're starting behind the 48 of Jimmy Johnson for this race as we're ready to go green. The green flag is out and we are underway for the second and final Michigan race of the season. Now as we look to the inside right away of the 42 of Kyle Larson as we cross the line to start this first lap as we head down towards turns one. Ryan Blaney edging up the 18 of Kyle Busch as he heads into the corner leading his first laps here in Michigan. Now as we sit just in front of the nine of Chase Elliott alongside the 88 of Alex Bowman. Certainly a bunch of Hendrick cars around me right now as we come down the back straight away William Byron up ahead too so all 400 cars here sitting about 15th on back as we head down towards turns three behind that 48 of Jim Johnson we're trying not to be too aggressive here on the start as we don't want to make any silly moves obviously too early in this race now as we have three wins a season we're just here to get playoff points at this point though as we come through to complete this first lap though looking to the left hand side for a brief moment of the 48 letting him know that maybe I could sneak up the inside but we stay in behind him for the moment as we come through turns one and turns two side by side with the 88 of Alex Bowman getting into the back of Johnson just a little bit now as we come down the back straightaway trying to move our way forwards here as we take it three wide for the first time with Johnson and Kyle Larson as we go down towards turns three. 
And as we go into turn three, behind the 24 car of William Byron, he battles alongside the 40 of Jamie McMurray as we pass Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Larson as they battle three wide behind with Chase Elliott as we come down the front straightaway through the tribal, looking to the inside of the 24 of Byron now, and we would pass him to move into the 13th position as we went down towards turns one. About the time we came to lap seven, we would catch our teammate Al Marola in the 11th position by the time we hit actually lap eight now as we went down into turns one and turns two. He moves up the track, allowing me to look up the inside of him as we exit turn two coming down the back straight away now trying to move ourselves inside of the top ten as we battle side by side making a little bit of contact down the back straight away as we head down towards turns three now side by side still with our teammate of Eric Almarola as I believe Kevin Harvick lurks behind us as we come through the center of the corner getting ahead of Almarola for a moment but the caution would come out as we would get ready to restart I couldn't find what brought up this caution so we would get ready to restart in the 10th position behind the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. We will be starting alongside the 6 of Ryan Newman for this restart as we're ready to go green once again. We are once again underway here as it will be three laps to decide this final stage here in Michigan as we're all over the back bumper of the 19 of Truex. As we, we know he hasn't been very happy with me recently as we head down towards turns one though we accidentally get into his back bumper as he checks up quite a bit as we head into the corner with Harvick our teammate on our back bumper as we kind of screw the entrance to turns one just a little bit now as we come through the center of the corner out of turn two down the back straightaway sitting in PL. 11 as we lose one spot to our teammate of Eric Almarola as we get to his right rear though we get, uh, have a chance to get back up into that top 10 as we head down towards turns three but he gets a really good entrance but we do get a better center of the corner as we come to just two laps to go here in stage one as we look to the outside of Truex now we're going to give him a little bit of a side draft trying to get ahead as we try to take that ninth position away from Truex as we head down towards turns one Brad Kozlowski in command right now just over second place of his teammate of Ryan Blaney as we come through turns one and turns two approaching the final lap in stage one this time by as we try to use the draft from our other Stuart Haas racing teammate of Clint Boyer as we come down the back straightaway they're going to try and side draft the 19 once again as we head down towards turns three and turns four up ahead there's Joey Logano way up on the outside line as we come through turns three still in that 10th position approaching the final lap in stage one as Kozlowski tries to hang on to a stage victory as he crosses the line and the white flag in stage one is in the air as we get right up close to the back of the 14 of Boyer as we head down towards turns one trying to make that outside work for a moment but we're going to give it up now as you come through turns one and two a chance to make a three wide with Truex and Boyer and we're going to take that as we exit turn two going down the back straightaway three wide to try and get up to P8 here before the stage is over as we head down the straightaway for the final time in stage one Boyer gets clear of the 19 as we head into turn three now clear of the 19 ourselves as we push up the track uh, almost into the night or into the 14 of Clint Boyer and he would hang on to the position as we would come out of turn four down the front straightaway through the trioval we would come through to get P9 in the first stage just over 10th place of Martin Truex Jr. so we would pick up two points in this first stage and Brad Kozlowski would win the stage and get himself a playoff point we would come to pit road and take two cans of fuel and four tires and 12 cars would stay out on the track so obviously all of us front runners would be pushed back 12 positions as we would get ready to start the second stage as the green flag is out once again and we are underway here to start stage two in Michigan certainly gonna have to work our way forwards here pretty carefully we've been in this position in Michigan before when we have uh, cars stay out and we just got to deal with it now as we head down towards turns one Kyle Bush up ahead there as we look to the inside of Newman not intentionally as he just checked up so much that we drove right up to his inside we're lucky we weren't behind him I was gonna probably hit him right in the back and damage the front end as we come down the back straightaway looking on the back bumper of Kyle Busch now as he is having a pretty good season himself as he certainly looks to be one of the favorites as we head into the playoffs I figure or I feel like Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex Jr. and myself are the four drivers right now that seem to be the favorites going into the playoffs as we come through down the front straightaway side by side with the other Bush brother of Kurt Busch as we had come through to complete that first lap in the second stage as Paul Menard currently is out front leading this event as we head down towards turns one and turns two. And we're going to edge out the one of Kurt Busch through turns two now alongside the 96 of Parker Kligerman as we come down the back straightaway moving up into that 13th position as we continue down towards turns three clearing Kligerman into turn three. We're going to move up to the top though because I saw Kyle Busch make a move to the top line and he was just driving right on by everybody. So I decided we're going to hop up here and take advantage of what Kyle Busch is doing and try to gain spots ourselves and it works perfectly. We move ourselves into the top 10 at this point as we hit just 10 laps 
laps to go in the second stage, edging out Matt Benedetto into turns one, but Matt Benedetto would hang on my left rear, so we would have to stay up top here going into turns one, which certainly halted my momentum for the moment, but we would get clear of Benedetto and continue working our way forward to P5 following Kyle Busch on the outside of Cody Ware. As we head down towards turns one, we would end up getting another caution, which once again I could not find in the replays as we would get ready, though, to start this second stage We're back up green. once again behind Kyle Busch and fourth as Paul Menard leads away his green, green flag is out once again we are green here in Michigan behind the 18 now of Kyle Busch as it is just five laps to go and we're going to do whatever we can to push the 18 out front because that will help me get out front hopefully here in the long run as we head down towards turns one and two trying to give the 18 a shove but we go a little bit wide getting disconnected from the back of the 18 as we come through the center of the corner allowing Corey LaJoy to edge out ahead of me but we use the draft from Kyle Bush to battle back alongside the 32 of LaJoy as we head down into turn three. Kyle Bush there trying to pull away from the field now as LaJoy sends us up my inside and he actually moves up the track into the side of me, making contact with myself as we come down the front straightaway. So LaJoy not making things easy for me as we come through to hit the line to hit just four laps ago as he's going to continue to battle alongside me as we sign draft him and get into his right rear as we head down towards turns one. And this brings Denny Hamlin into the battle now as we head down through turns one, still side by side with that 32 of LaJoy, keeping him pinned down the best I can, and we would come out of turn two finally, pulling ahead of LaJoy and getting clear. We wouldn't lose the spot, though, to Denny Hamlin by the time we came to the final lap in the stage, as Kyle Busch would have completely driven away, and Hamlin, like I said, passed me and passed Paul Menard, who has been falling off quite a bit in his final laps here in the stage, and we would look to his inside as well as we came down the back straightaway for the final time in this second stage, side by side with Menard as we try to edge him out going into turn three. Kyle Busch at this point in command as he comes through turns three and four. He is long gone at this point as we will exit turn four. Kyle Busch is going to add a playoff point to his name. And Kyle Busch will come through to win the second stage as we would come through to get P3 just over fourth place of Paul Menard now as that's certainly a good result for us in this second stage. So hopefully we can maybe battle it out for this victory here in this final stage now as we would come to Bay Road and take two cans of feel again and we would also take four tires and I was a little concerned that taking four tires would shuffle me back but we actually got really fortunate we would take four tires like I said but this time we wouldn't lose any positions because the AI would take four tires as well putting me in a very fortunate position as we would get ready to go right, green here to start this final stage in three. Michigan behind the leader of Kyle Busch as the green flag is back out and we are underway with just 18 laps to go once we cross the line here giving a big shove to the back of the 18 of Bush as we try to get out front now as we head down towards turns one Bush he's going to move up the track and I decide we're going to jump down to this bottom line and try to make a move for the lead as we go into turns one we edge out Bush for a moment as we come through the center of the corner but he's going to have the momentum off the corner and he is going to blow right on past me as Paul Menard is going to try and follow through with the, the draft now as Kozlowski and Blaney battle side by side right behind me as we sit side by side with Paul Menard going into turn three as well as we try to at least hang on to this second position and we will do that by clearing Paul Menard right there as we come through turns three and turns four as we try to run down the 18 of Kyle Busch now as he is certainly showing to have a pretty fast car at this point in the race as we come through to start or complete the first lap in the final stage just in front of Brad Kozlowski as we head down towards turns one and two Bush certainly getting bigger in my sights as we are closing in on him just a little bit now as we exit turn two down the back straight away trying whatever I can to get to him using the draft as much as I can because obviously that's the key to success at a track like Michigan is just use the draft to the best of your abilities and by the time we came to lap 35 though Kizlowski would find a way to my inside and he would be able to get past me as he came through turns one and turns two we would try to get right on his right rear but he would have way too much speed for me to be able to hold him up and it certainly seems like we didn't have a very fast car because by the time we came to lap 36 Kurt Busch would pass me as well and we would stay in this fight as things would shake up. We close right back in on the front two runners with Kurt Busch as well as Kozlowski would be up on the top, losing a lot of momentum, allowing me to look to his inside here on lap 39, trying to move into the third position as we would come down the back straightaway. Certainly a bit of a four-car battle right now for the lead as we would jump up in front of that two of Kozlowski as we head down towards turn three. The two Bush brothers run one, two here in Michigan as we come through turn three, approaching 11 laps to go at this point as Blaney would make a move on his uh, Penske teammate as he came out of 
turn four, and we would end up looking to the outside of Kurt Busch, but it wouldn't work by the time we came to just 10 to go. Blaney had found his way to my inside, and he would get clear of me as we would drop the P10, as Kozlowski would be lurking behind, and he would hit me on the right side, and sideways we went, but we would hang on to the car, but that would allow Kozlowski to pass me as Kurt Busch makes a move on his teammate, or his brother, sorry, of Kyle Busch down the back straightaway as he tries to take the lead, as Hamlin now looks to my left rear, but we keep it just clear of him as we head into turn three, though. Hamlin will make the move up the inside, and he's going to get into the left-hand side of me as he moves up the track, getting me sideways as we come out of turn four, but we save the car, and we would use the draft to stay in this battle. We would get to the back of Kurt Busch, who had actually drifted back with his teammate of Kyle Busch with five laps to go, as we would be still in this battle for the victory late in this race in Michigan. And all over the back bumper of Kyle Busch, we go down the back straightaway, trying to make a move to his inside as we head into turn three. Martin Triggs Jr. just behind me. We know he's not been happy with me lately, and we made contact with him earlier in this race, so I don't know how happy he's going to be when we're out of here. As we do look to the inside of Kyle Busch, but we hit him in the left rear, keeping me from clearing him, but we would get past him. And by the time we came to two to go, sitting in the fifth position, just a single file line right here as we come through turns one and turns two. Denny Hamlin leads. Brad Kozlowski second, Ryan Blaney third, and Kurt Busch fourth, and with myself trailing in the fifth position as we come down the back straightaway, approaching the final lap here in Michigan. Now as Kurt Busch leaves the bottom open, and we take the opportunity as we slip into that hole and get ahead of Kurt Busch now as we come down the front straightaway through the trial Denny Hamlin tries to hang on for his first win of the season as a white flag is in the air, and we close in quickly on the back of the 12 of Ryan Blaney as we move up the track, trying to get the best arc we can to get a really good turns one, and turns two now trying to set up the best finish possible as we come through turns two closing in on the back of the 12 but we push wide keeping my momentum or uh, stalling my momentum as we come down the back straightaway Denny Hamlin still in command as we come down towards turn three for the final time here in Michigan as we jump up to the top line trying to make something happen as we cut down just in front of the 18 of Kyle Busch is behind us Truex has trouble and he went hard into the wall there you see him up in the wall as Denny Hamlin would come through to win in Michigan as the green flag would stay out and that would be win number one on the season for Denny Hamlin as we would come up short in P4 which uh, is one of my worst finishes at Michigan actually because we've finished second at this racetrack three times and we won one of the races obviously earlier this season but uh, nothing to be too disappointed about a fourth place finish is still really good for this team uh, so hopefully we can keep up the momentum as Denny Hamlin finally finds a way to victory lane and clinches his spot into the playoffs now and there you see the point standings uh, the top 10 of the regular season standings we still set P2 behind Kyle Busch with three wins so hopefully we can maybe pass him before the regular season is over to get some extra playoffs points now as we have just three races until the playoffs and look at this we have Martin Truex Jr. very angry with us I tried to apologize to him but we officially have our first rival in the cup series Kyle Bush not happy I'm not even sure what he's not happy about but we provoked him anyways but it took two and a half seasons in the Cup Series for me to get our first rival. So finally, um, I guess uh, finally, I don't know if I want a rival or not. We're going to find out. But uh, next episode, we will be going to Bristol and Xfinity in the Cup Series, a track that I kind of struggle at. So hopefully we can run good. Sometimes we get really good. We usually run good in stage one and two. And then the final stage just goes all downhill from there on the long run. So we'll see what we can do. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be very appreciated. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. As I always say, I really appreciate it. In the next episode, like I said, we go to Bristol. Hopefully, just really hopefully, we can pull off a victory there as we were loading back into career mode, as you saw right here, because uh, I wanted to at least get the point standings on the screen for you guys going into Bristol, because we have a battle for the last playoff position brewing for the first time in this career mode. We've never had this. McMurray, one point out of the playoffs. Bowman, three out. And Austin Dillon, 19 out. So we're going to see if they can get into the playoffs here. And I will see you guys in the next episode in Bristol as Almirola tries to hold on to the last playoff position. Thank you for watching, everybody. And have yourselves a great day. I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.